Now, I know what everyone was waiting for, and I, I understand that I completely forgot. We need to beat this boss. So, I'm gonna, just to play it safe, let's mimic it up. Maybe don't stand in the rock, mimic. And let's get in there. Full whiff. Maybe I should take my own advice. Where is Mimic? Mimic? Does Mimic not know how to jump? Apparently, I don't know how to jump either. Want to get involved, Mimic? I'm not doing a great job. But I also really blame Mimic here. Because I don't know what Mimic's problem is. <laughs> Alright, Mimic, you got this, right? Maybe I got this. Clearly, that was not the best place to summon the Mimic. I almost failed on what was supposed to be like a goofy fight. Mimic! What the hell? I'm surprised, though. Mimic doesn't seem to get Scarlet Rot from this. That's kind of interesting. But Mimic was also, I mean, I was playing really dumb too, but I, I was, again, also hoping that I would be able to double team someone and that someone wasn't there to help. Uh, one thing I noticed while we were here, while I came here, is that Flame Cleanse Me actually damages you a little bit. It's not much, but it's something I did not notice before. Let me grab this item, and we'll also look at the uh, thing we picked up. But in the long run, it doesn't matter. Get me out of here. Oh. Oh. I just need to get to a location because the rot might actually kill me. That was supposed to be like a prank start, but it almost became stupid. Uh, we're not fighting this because all it drops is a golden uh, seed, which we do not need. Uh, what we picked up from that dragon ken, that, that's really uh, foreboding for how well a final fight is actually going to be for me. Foreboding, uh, uh, foreshadowing? One of those. It's one of those. Uh, we got Dragon Scale Blade. Weapon made by sharpening a gravel stone scale. Th thought to be the source of ancient dragon immortality into an unclouded blade. Alas, the dragon can soldiers never attain immortality and perished as decrepit pale imitations of their skyborn ken. And then the unique skills, Ice Lightning Sword. Call down a bolt of lightning into the blade and bring it down upon a foe. The Ice Lightning effect will persist for a while. Kind of a small katana. Uh, it also, from what I saw, this is what it does, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, I feel like this seems like it would be a Faith Katana. But you can see it only scales with Dex and Strength. So I don't know what the deal is. I saw some people talk about how the Lightning scales with Faith. But I don't know how true that is. It might have been speculation, because it's on, uh, what is it, Fex Life. The, the wiki page that isn't great, but it's the only thing we have, so it's all we'll really use. Uh, but I don't know, it looked kind of neat. Let's, uh, I actually do want to do one more thing before we go and, uh, actually end this, even though I know I'm stalling. I don't know if this updated at all. I'm upset if it doesn't, because like I said, I'm pretty sure everything was accomplished. Probably not, unless if I have to just go talk to everyone again. Now I can damn I
Oh, I can still purchase stuff from you. Ain't that nice. What a weird thing to be able to do. Uh, I'm, I would assume you would be here if anything. There's Godfrey hanging out with his lion. He uh, makes the armor look a lot cooler. Yeah, I um, I'm gonna assume that because everything was accomplished before the patch came out, that we just uh, I don't know, the triggers just aren't gonna work now, which is why I held off on giving um, Tanith the what the the uh, dancer things are. Because she, um, if there is an addition to that quest, it most likely, uh, would break like this, I would assume. Kind of wish you guys just weren't here. Don't know if I need to talk to everyone. Yeah, like, you're just saying the same stuff. Gotta deal with the goblins now. I was just hoping that maybe at some point I would be able to, uh... To see this continued on, but basically... I mean, we'll, we'll see. One last thing. She actually left. Uh oh. Oh no, she's just continuing. I see. Okay. I thought I thought something happened to Hugh here. Granted, I don't know what else can really happen to him besides just death, but made me panic a little bit. Hello. It reminds me of in this eye. It reminds me of my foot. I'm upset. I'm upset because everything's should be right. Go back here one last time, but I, I doubt it. Yeah, he's still stomping. So basically, uh, Stormhawk Lady is supposed to take the throne here, and uh, Ghostock and this guy, Kenneth, are supposed to. Uh, just be hanging out and then I guess ghost talk will sell an ancient smithing stone but I don't I don't know what else can really be done about that turtle Pope will know what to do but I, I think that was supposed to continue once we got to the capital city and it just never did so I mean I could try looking into it to see if there's anything else but it doesn't really matter. Turtle Pope knows what's Greetings. up. To experience the miracle, the oh. solution will be yours. I was hoping you would talk about some of the uh, other stuff. I don't need absolution. Thought, I don't know. I thought maybe that could refresh something. Is there something? Yeah, let's just buy that so we can have all the sorceries. Alright, I love you, Turtle. I'm sorry I didn't really come to visit often. But you're okay. Well, that's enough stalling. Or is it? So, I don't even know where this is. Um, it's not like this one, right? That's Fort Hague. If you rest at the lake-facing cliff bonfire, it might make them move? Oh my god. Well, since he's not there, that has to be it. What a weird thing. I can only assume that part of that has to be, like, triggering that the game knows you've completed Stormvale Castle. And because it was patched, you need it to re-rest at that bonfire to get everything to be working again. 
That is wild. I'm glad I looked it up. It just didn't sit right with me to uh, stall for that long and not have anything be accomplished with it. But look at this. Everyone's here. Even you. What up? It's been some time. I must thank you for your aid. I told father I would be with him no longer. He's dead. I remember the vow I took when I first became a warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Hey, he's super dead. He's been dead for a little bit. Yes. Not that long. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of Lady, but I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped me. Oh, you give me an ancient dragonsmithing stone. Should you become Elden Lord, I would gladly lighten your burden. I, uh, I didn't catch the Lu bit. I think we knew your last name was Lu, but when he uh, transformed into... Porta Crocs, I don't remember his name. I think his armor is all Elden Lord armor. But he, his last name w turned to Lu, so I guess that's what uh, you would want it. Nice to see you after so long. Safe and sound, I take it, yes? Good. Ah, quite. I have indeed selected a new ruler. Lady Can you knight me now? Is strong and just. Worthy of the burden of Limgrave's lineage. Such is the sincere opinion of I, Kenneth Height, no less. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards. At which time I can fulfill my old promise. By raising you to the glory of knighthood. I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. Dude, I'm like about to go and become Elden Lord, my man. For the time being, I share at which time I raising you. I hope it is Dude, like I don't I don't know if knighthood is really gonna cut it. Farewell, fellow warrior. I will remain to summon the storm. But your guidance and your fight surely lie elsewhere. I mean, my fight was here for a little bit. You were also I there. To summon the but your guy surely lies. Also, I don't know if I would trust this guy. He seems a little crazy. Ah, you, is it? Haven't seen your mug in quite some time. As you can see, I'm the new lady's attendant. Freedom was worth You kind of just stood in the same spot. Besides, I like it round here. Lady Nefeli, still fair of heart and countenance. Okay. Still, I have the lady's trust. So I can loot all the corpses I like. <laughs> okay. okay. You take a look at the goods if you fancy. Good, good on you. There you go. I can buy one of these. I will. Maybe I'll just... I mean, there's no reason for me. I probably should. I'm just gonna buy some of this junk. I have way too much money from that dragon can fight that it's not really worth it. Um. I mean, that's that's nice. It's annoying how this was just stalled because it wasn't in the base game and because uh, I had to sit at a bonfire. It was like years ago. A uh, fun little thing about Gosek here is that he uh, apparently follows you around Stormvale when you first go through. He, um, you can kind of see him following you in certain parts, and he was the one that locked you into that one room with the uh, Banished Knight. So that's kind of neat. Um, I want to get one level up. Before we really get in there. Just because I have the money. Technically speaking, I could just get nuts here. I think depending on how hard the fight ends up becoming. I might just use all of these. I feel like it would be kind of fun. Also. But now. Well. <laughs> once I get through this process. We'll be actually ready. And I'm not going to stall any longer. I think I might need a little bit more. Just a little. Let me 
is like six. I don't think that will be enough, but I'm gonna do it. How much did I actually need? Oh no. Bah. I, I need a minute every time I look at the menu. I don't know what I'm looking for. We'll do one. I just like keeping my uh my runes sometimes. This will be a little too much, but at least it'll mean I don't have to look at this anymore. Level up. What am I leveling up? I don't know. Strength. Doesn't really matter. It's going to be the same. Might as well even it out and keep that 69 because it's nice. Jokes. Fun jokes. Now I need to go figure out what to spend this 681 on. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. I'm not ready. I need to get rid of Flame Cleanse Me. And as if there's some raw, I'm going to assume that this isn't going to really help me. Now I'm ready. We'll go with the attack boost for now and then determine whether or not I need black flame protection when we really get in there. This is it. Don't get scared now. Oh, jeez. If that's not a final fog gate, I don't know what is. I mean, it was fancy looking to begin with, but the giant glow. What is that, like, shard stabbed into her? I probably should know. But it's been two months and the lore is... Something I'm gonna have to look back into. It's like Broken Body's pretty cool looking. Especially half face. Oh, the hair turned. Oh, the her hair turned red because it um. Is it just actually Radagon now? I think Merica had both her arms, so when she just crumbled down. Hello, scary. What are you holding? What are you doing, buddy? Lightning bolts. Whoa. Okay. You have stuff on the ground. I haven't hit you once. Let me hit you a little bit. Shoot me. Okay, that blows up. Okay, you got a little bit of range there. I've got some misses. Hmm, rolling didn't seem effective, did it? sake. Okay, I really need to jump, I guess, because that, like, I think that was a good roll. I think I dodged out of the initial hit. That was a bad one. Oh, you're just going. Oh, 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 that's scary. I don't like that. What is that? Okay, that's, is that like a grab? Mm -hmm. 
and trusting. Oop. I like how it's the uh, menu theme. I'm glad I ran out of that. I realized it would have been a mistake to heal there. Ow. Rude. Rude. Yeah, I'm doing good. Big mistake. Oh no, big mistake. Big mistake. Oh look, that did the uh, Elden Ring 3 ring thing. I'm um gonna put this out. That just looked like an asterisk. I'm gonna put this out there. I did pretty good damage to him without the um not without I did pretty decent damage to him considering I was missing a lot of hits I'm gonna say probably not the uh the only phase I'm gonna put that out there I wonder It's a lot of magic. Oh, we just get to cutscene again. Really should. Oh! Rude. Really should have gone for the jump. Where are you going? I was going to say the physical hits didn't seem like they hurt that much, but then I... Hmm. Oh, bad. Gonna get it. Body. Ah, oh, come on. What's the, um... What's our appropriate response there? Oh, that is a grab. Oh, no, stop it. You're going to kill me. I'm not dead. Dude, like, I, you're, like, in the air for so long. Stop it. Stop it. You're being mean. Holy shit, dude. Give me a minute. I wasn't sure if that was gonna still be in my range. No, 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 no. I'm out of flasks, by the way. Greed. Oh, I didn't think I was close enough to that thing that was going to explode. I wanted to greet it so I could see what the next bit is. I'm going to assume it's holy damage. So let's try, um... I mean, the physical damage might hurt a lot, too. We'll see how that works. I'd imagine if it is holy damage that holy damage itself will not be too effective against him. Maybe I should switch Blasphemous Blade to my main weapon. It's not like I, um... It's not like I can really, uh... It really matters. I don't think there's a lot of openings for me to use the, uh... The skill. Wow, 
that was nice. Damn it, didn't have enough time to bail. I, I really need to run away from that. Hmm. It might be a little too much of a mix of both. <laughs> where are you going? He didn't know where to aim because I'm already dead. And he's like, I'm in the air. Here I am. I mean, I can try Blasphemous Blade. But, like, he... The, um, Black Blade kind of worked decent there. Um, let's do... Since I don't have my physical protection, let's put Black Flame protection on. The defense boost might be a bit better. I, I think the biggest thing I would need to do is just figure out how to avoid the... The ground swells. Because they're kind of... Um, I think they're lo just longer than you would think they are. So jumping and dodging don't really seem effective, but it might just be my timing. Cool. You can stop. I feel like Black Flame Protection is not helping me because... He's doing a lot of magic damage. Cool! Well, at least he with two. Oh, dead. Like that, I don't know. A lot later, more delayed. I, I guess I don't... So I'm jumping. I think I'm doing a good job at jumping. Let's not do Black Flame Protection. Honestly, let's level up. Um... I think the attack boost is a better option for me. I could see two. I don't even know if actually... I don't know if this really helped me that much. The holy damage negation. So maybe we'll stick with that. I could get rid of this and... Maybe for now we will. We'll do both physical and holy damage negation. Yeah, we're allowed. We'll see how that works. Um, if I'm basing my thought process on him probably not being overly affected by holy, maybe I should switch this to... Uh, which one was the, uh, this one, break enemy stances and mix physic. I think that one was pretty nice. I can see if I can maybe break his stance with jump attacks, although I think I'm not able to get as many hits off consecutively, which I think really ruins that for me. We'll have to just see how it goes. I think getting one of these off quick, well, two hits off at the start is nice, though. Was that just an, like, an immediate aggressive... Get me out.
Okay. Cool. It feels pretty good when you, um, mm -hmm. I should have known. It feels pretty good when you dodge too far. Well, I guess just running away works on that. I was out of his range. Fuck you. Oh, he's teleporting. Or he was a little bit. Oh, he's doing it. Can't do that in the air. Mm, not the move I thought it was. Thank God that missed. Fuck you, dude. Do you really need to have all these shockwaves? Yeah, just running away from that. That's cool. That's also cool. Yep. Hurt me. Hurt me more, daddy. I love it. God, I don't know why I thought he was doing the hammer down. Like, I don't... He also looks like a weirdo. At least that doesn't actually affect the whole goddamn screen, because that was a little scary. It's cool when you think you can, like, maybe punish him a little bit for making him... I didn't know what that was. I should have just tried to get the heal off. When you think you can punish him for making a mistake, or not a mistake, but charging at you, and then he just completely wrecks your shit. That's my bad, though. Uh, okay. I'm gonna say Wondrous Flask. This is probably not gonna work. Extra dex? I think either of these will do the same thing. Let's see how that works. Or just generally more defense, maybe. What's the one that, um... Not that one. There's one that's... I think Opaline... I don't know if it's even worth it. Uh, we'll, we'll keep the attack boost off. I don't know. I want the one that's not just a single hit bubble because I'm going to lose that so quick. I don't think it would be worth it. But I don't know uh, really what else I could use. I also feel like I probably need to just get one blade attack off here. He gets a little too aggressive when I try to do two. Unless. Punished. Yeah. Maybe a little too uh, greedy. Like that shouldn't. That shouldn't shockwave. The distance there, it's like not the worst, but boy, is it still not easy. 
Good decisions. Hey, I did actually heal off of it, though. I should have taken advantage of that. Bad decision. I'm way too far away. This is not going to hit anything. Hmm. I got a little scared. That looked like that was going to be something that was going to come right at me. Oh, okay. A little, a little too angry. Two of those, huh? Oh, you came in quick. Blasphemous Blade kind of working out. Almost. Oh, dude, come on. You were so close. Blasphemous Blade's not too bad. The Taker's Flame, I mean, specifically. I just need to find better times to actually use it. Do I want to try, uh... Brute forcing some extra levels, maybe. Might help. I'm uh, obviously trying to skip the cutscene immediately here. Come on, man. Super range. Was I out of stamina? What happened there? I actually jumped that. I hit the attack. It's really cool that you can do two of those. Try timing a dodge, didn't work out. I'm glad you're using those moves right now. I don't see when I'm far enough away for the teleport. That seems like a decent time to use Taker's Flame. Ooh, not when he gets that close. Full whiff! Did I really deserve to whiff that bad? Apparently. My bad for thinking I was fine. He just goes too far. Oh, I'm fucked. There I go jumping way too soon again. You can't blame me for when I jump that. <sighs> wow, 
Wow, I sure like the way this fight is um, not technically over. And again, oh, I can only get one off. I sure like the way that the fight just kind of is lingering. I mean, distance it definitely works decent on him. Because his shockwaves are easy to avoid when you're not near him. Which is a little frustrating. Oh, hello. Maybe if I'm lucky, it'll be like the, um... Moon presence in Bloodborne. I kind of had like a rib cage. Was that was that Radagon? It's beautiful. I'm looking forward to fighting Radagon again. It's all I'm thinking about. Yeah, that definitely has like a rib cage to it. It's a really cool looking boss though. What was that hop? Wonder flocking on not the idea. I see. I see I made a grave mistake. Uh. Ooh. I kind of figured that was going to happen, but I also really thought that I would have better timing. Wow, that was a That was a whole ground. What are, you, what are you doing, buddy? It's a real scary. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, oh, fuck! Don't do that. Don't do multiple things. Hmm. Is that that move that was following me before? Yeah, it is. Out of healing. Let's go, baby. Mm. I have only one way to heal now. Dude, it's really weird trying to figure out where I am in relation to the boss. God, not the... Dude, are, did, is that... Er Fuck you. Kill me. Taking flame, be my guide. I'm out. Absolutely no more heals now. Come on. Can I get like a posture break on you? Oh fuck, please. Thank God that wasn't the uh... This is that thing. Um, it was on the ground.
please. It, it did it like multiple. Oh, I can't see myself. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit! Oh, get fucked! Oh! Is that it? Please for real be it, because I have nothing. I have nothing. Elden Remembrance. That took everything from me. Oh, man. Taken Flame. I'm so glad Taken Flame, I switched that over. Okay. Okay. Bonfire. <laughs> oh my god. Who? <sighs> so we can leave, right? Okay, we can leave. That's the most important thing. Because, like I said, I, uh, I want to look at all the endings. Obviously, we are ready for a super bad ending. Before we do that, though, this time I'm not going to um, make you sit through it all. My bro, what up? Ah, it's you again. Always a pleasure. Been a bit, huh? Uh, I mentioned before, this is the easiest way to sell these. Let's use them all. Also, um, we have a remembrance that I would like to read. That was stressful. That last bit was so stressful. <laughs> uh... Oh my god. What was it? Elden Remembrance? I didn't- I don't think I even really looked at its name. Goodbye for now. Yeah, it is. Let's look at our inventory. We need to see what we get from it. Uh, it's in the main thing. Don't have to, don't have to refight Radagon if I deal with that. Remembrance of the Elden Beast, hewn into the Earth Tree. It was the vassal beast of the Greater Will and living incarnation of the concept of order. Let's go see what we can get from that. I doubt anyone really has anything to say after we did that. You still dead? Yeah, you are. No, a Radagon thing. America's hammer. Probably good lore. Stone hammer made in the lands of the Newman. Outside the lands between. The tool with which Queen America shattered the Elden Ring and Radagon attempted to repair it. The hammer partially broken upon shattered, broke upon shattering the ring, becoming splinters with ruined fragments. Goldbreaker, leap up high and while suspended in midair, imbued the ruined shard with light before smashing it down hard onto the ground, a heroic Radagon signature attack. In Sacred Relic Sword, sword wrought from the remains of a god who should have lived a life eternal. Thoughts on what the weapon portends are many and varied, some consider it the mark of great sin or a sign of great devastation. Some think it's the end of an age, while others, the beginning. Wave of God imbues the sword with bygone gold or golden glory, then fires it at foes. A wide golden wave fans out forward, sweeping through all enemies caught in its path. I very much would like this. I very much would like that. Also, I'm gonna switch this over, because I'm gonna gonna upgrade it because it looks very spicy it looks very spicy let's actually look at its weapon arts I think I know what it is because I've seen a video with that um that grind spot with the frogs
That's pretty spicy. I want to upgrade it. It looks very nice. Let's just pretend we don't see the weird... It's less noticeable, at least. It almost looks like it's made out of... Well, no. Wait, no. Oh, God. It's T-posing. That's a hand. Oh, it's definitely a body. It's T-posing. Can I see its little feet? Maybe a little bit, but they're, like, twirled into... It's kind of funny. It's like a, um extension of the... What was my main sword? The, not intertwined. The uh, inseparable. Just in the way that it's intertwined. I see. Yeah, I'll spirit tune. Now. Might be overkill. I didn't even look to see how it compares. But I really like the way it looks. So I'm kind of into it. Uh, less holy damage. This has a little bit more critical, which I don't really know what that means, but it's has way more physical. I like it. It's a heavy load, though. Oh, no. Maybe if I get rid of this. Maybe if I get rid of that, the heavy load will go away. I guess I'll have to put on the, uh, the weight. Yeah, that's a shame. Back to my uh, arsenal charm. How much heavier is it? 10 to like one point. I legit would have to put like one extra point in the stamina, I think. Damn. Or wait, wait. Wait a minute. Can we keep. Uh, this doesn't matter. We're like done with the game. This doesn't matter, but can I keep all the stuff I like? don't remember where this charm is. It's very, like... Um... Simple looking. So I have a hard time finding it. We can do it. Well, now... Now, now we gotta just look at this real quick, though. Wave of Gold seems like the best extension of that, uh, the Holy Blade. I think, like, if we aim that way... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what the big deal is. Time to level up a bunch. How many levels? Not even that much, actually. We can get that... I'm gonna leave that... 69. Just get a little bit more of that strength and dex. I think... 71? Oh, dex is definitely the better option. Oh, that scales a lot better with dex. Okay. I wonder... I'm not... I'm not gonna spend as much time on the other stuff I was looking at, but I wonder if, um... Respecking into nothing but dex would be the good decision there. So, time for some endings. And by that I mean I'm gonna save scum. So. Obviously I have a bit of an eye problem. Actually, I can kind of barely tell I have an eye problem right now. I have a bit of an eye problem though. I'm sure it won't affect anything. It's just... Look at this. Become the Lord of Frenzied Flame. I like how it doesn't even like hide it. It's like, this is what you're gonna do right now. Oh, I have a headache. I'm okay.
Oh no! Well, that's kind of sick looking though, isn't it? God, imagine if you just get that as a headpiece. So this is basically just burning the whole world down, right? So nothing will remain. I'm loving it. I'm really into it. You would think Shibiri would have wanted to actually just be the Lord of Frenzied Flame, but I'd imagine it's still technically the same thing. That's really, really cool looking. Tree just freaking exploded. You can see fingerprints all over the place too. Lord of Frenzied Flame. I will seek you as far as you may travel. To deliver you what is yours. Well, that's interesting. Destined death. That almost seems like that almost seems like that would be the most like sequel baitish kind of thing. Cause like one, the whole like fire head could totally just be a a default final boss thing. I don't I think like Dark Souls does operate on like a specific ending being chosen, so if they ever like continued Elden Ring, they could just like go all in with that frenzy flame bit and Milena helping out um her eye thing I know there's speculation and there might be a bit more that indicates it but speculation that she is some like connected to Ronnie because they both have like their other eye closed I don't know if that was like how Ronnie's eyes looked but you know how like Ronnie also had that kind of ghost face like a, a connection is probably there although I don't know how that correlates also with Molenia, um trying to get us to be Elden Lord well Ronnie herself is trying to do something different but that's a uh, probably the most bad ending I would assume unless if Dung Eater surpasses that I could see Dung Eater surpassing that Frenzy Flame was kind of sick though Seems a lot sicker than what Dung Eater might have, so let's go see what Dung Eater's problem is. So, before we actually do this, what we need to do is cure ourselves of that nasty-ass frenzy. Which also means I probably should have, um... Should be ready to, like, reset a completely different... Save. Put our, like, headband on. Get rid of the, the glowy eyes. So, like I said, we have to go to Dragon Lord Placid Sex? Placid Sex? Placid Sao. I don't know if we could have done this while the dragon was still here. Tame the flamesy frame. Flame. Tame. Oh, I can't talk. Ah, oh, I feel much better now. Let me put on my, uh, my Melania. 
Did I say... I was calling... I'm really having trouble with names. So it's Melina. Melania was... Rot Valkyrie. You can't blame me for getting real worked up on that because, like, they're really close. I, they probably were pronounced differently in-game. Uh, anyways, here is Ronnie. That'll be the last one we do because, like I said, that's the one I would want. You could say canonically I'm Frenzy Flame because I let it consume me. Oh, my message was appraised. How kind. Uh, let's go and uh, touch Fractured in America. So we have four options here. I think these are all kind of the same options, but with a little bit of differences. Uh, Fell Curse would be the Dung Eater one, so I guess we'll just work our way up. Again, this one seems like it's going to be probably just as bad as Frenzy Flame. Everyone gets a little cursed. I'm sure this part's probably going to be like the same. Dude, I do kind of wish we would have gotten that Frenzy Flame hat, though. Would have been kind of cool. I don't know if that's going to fit on there. I guess so. Fit into place like the... Like a silver monkey statue. I like the way the, uh, I guess maybe the Elden Ring itself is inside of America there. Also, yeah, I think it was, because I think that was specifically the, uh, Fell Cursed one. It had, like, the pustules on it. Yeah, things are getting a little cursed here. The Fallen Leaves tell story well, I don't like that sky a tarnished became Elden Lord in our home across the fog the lands between our seed will look back upon us and recall The reviled curse that defined our age. The blessing of despair. Hmm. I feel like if that's it, then the other ones aren't really going to be much of an ending, are they? But I'm committed. We're going to look at them all. I mean, I feel like... It's just basically going to be the text at the end, but maybe the other endings will have a bit more hope to them. I, again, I don't really know what the Death Prince one is. Like, Faya's stuff didn't seem entirely bad. Like, if it's... I don't know. I guess we'll see how the, uh, the cutscene frames it. Then again, the cutscene might frame them, them all as pretty gnarly but it has to be better than the age of despair or whatever the dung eater once said so if we look inside of America's body I think the Elden Ring is made to look like the actual uh, ruin that we got from doing the quest oh yeah it gets like a little addition there that bit at the bottom, the like centipede bit. I guess what it is is that we are adding to the uh, the ring itself. Although I don't even know if that really is the Elden Ring. I'm just assuming that the symbol is the ring itself. Happy the cheery skies. The sun is smiling. The Of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. Well, rain's not great, but it's also not terrible. In our home, across the fog, 
the lands between. Basically, the weather is the only thing I can go by to know whether or not it's a good or bad ending. Our seed will look back upon us and recall the age of the Duskborn. So many titles. The music sounded a little bit hopeful, though. Much better than a Dung Eater thing. But not as wildly chaotic as being the Frenzied Flame Lord. On to the Golden Order one. Knowing that it's the Age of Duskborn really did not help me with whether or not that was a decent ending, but... I'm, I'm still under the impression that Ronnie's is probably going to be the best, but I doubt it's going to be satisfying enough to really know. Perfect Order. Just sounds like more of the same, but maybe less control for people. Like, I'm assuming the fingers would love this ending. I would love to go back and see the two fingers just, like, question what happened while it was doing its divination. While it was trying to figure out what's going on. It'll just come back and be like, everyone's dead. The round table's dead. It comes back during the frenzy, frenzied flame ending. It's just like, what happened? Like, I just assume this is going to be like too much control kind of thing. Oh, that's a big old ring. What if we use all of the rings together? They all have their own little place. This is going to be rainbow and sunshines and singing blue jays. I can feel it. The fallen leaves tell a story. Oh, this one definitely made the tree better. Of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. In our home, across the fog. Guess it makes sense that the tree was pretty dead in the, uh... Death Prince ending and probably the Dung Eater one. I wasn't really paying too much attention to it there. Our seed will look back upon us and recall the age of order. I like how every time we see this scene, my little cape thing is clipping through the chair. It's very cool. I like how bright it is. It really accentuates the gold I wear, but again, it's just all the same. One more of that ending, and then we'll get to see the real ending. Alright, wh what do you think they're just gonna say here? It was the age of the Elden Lord. It's gonna be, like, super basic. Because it's just doing the Elden Ring exactly how it was. Nothing at it, nothing special about it. He's just gonna say, Oh, our seed bearings will remember this day as basically being the same as it always was. I feel like also, like, Ronnie's ending probably isn't going to be that interesting either. What What is it even going to be? Did we just leave? We don't, like, try to do anything. We just let it all kind of do what it's doing because it, you know, free will is better than not. Probably should have led with this one instead of going through the Dung Eater one. I mean, they're all the same. It's like Mass Effect 3 all over again. Except we get, like, two bonus endings. Heck, it should have been just like a, uh, Fallout 3 slideshow. Like, you get these extra things and it'll just get a little bonus of, like, Dung Eater was eating dung still. You think the sky's gonna... Okay, well, we already see it. I was gonna say be basic. Of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. It might have been generally how it looked Across in Altless Plateau, fog, though. The lands between. Oh. 
Our seed will look back upon us and recall. An age of fracture. Well, that doesn't sound great, actually. I guess it's just we didn't fix the ring. We just said, hey, we're Elden Lord. What does being an Elden Lord even really do for us? Are the rot dogs going to, like, bow to us now? We'll, we'll see what Ronnie has to offer. Alright, this is it. The waifu ending. <laughs> uh, really, we are... We're married, in case you don't remember. Can I just, like, kick around the head? Alright, so let's see. Are we just gonna bail? Like, oh, it's just a summoning sign, too. The battle is over, I see. Is Vani just gonna take over, technically be Elden Lord, but she's gonna do her own thing with it? I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars. A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. into fear, doubt, and loneliness, as the path stretcheth into darkness. Let us go together. Oh, she's wearing the wedding ring. My dear consort eternal. When you walk away, you don't hear me say, please, oh baby, don't go. Simple and clean. Well, definitely that and the Frenzied Flame ending were probably the most interesting. I think that's the part that might have been mistranslated a little bit. Um, I don't know if it was really how mistranslated. Age of Darkness kind of sounds bad, but I think she was more implying that the road ahead is unknowing and dark. In that we're not being guided by the grace and the fingers and all that jazz. Which, in that sense, is more hopeful, and I, I like the idea of breaking the, I guess, the ring of fate, order. It's like, uh, it's like that Game of Thrones with the, uh, the wheel of, I don't remember the quote from Game of Thrones. It was something about a wheel and break the wheel, something. Uh, but anyways, that's Elden Ring. If you can't tell, I really like the game. I can't imagine anything else coming out this year that's going to surpass it for me, honestly. Uh, it definitely has a lot of problems. Like, I know I'm, I'm like already here spouting, this is game of the year, bro. Dog, believe me, game of the year. But uh, it definitely has problems. I don't like the reuse of a lot of bosses. Uh, a lot of 
the more enjoyable parts were early on when everything was new, but then it got a little stale. I think by the time I got to Atlas Plateau, maybe a bit when I was starting to explore Kaled and it all started to feel samey. I mentioned it at some point in the thousand parts of this Let's Play, but the, um, all of the mini dungeons, I think they called the real dungeons legacy dungeons. Like, uh, Stormvale Castle and, I guess, the capital, Lindell. Uh, but all of the mini ones are really just better disguised Chalice Dungeons from, uh, Bloodborne. Which, like, Chalice Dungeons, no one really enjoyed playing those. I I'm sure some people did. But they weren't as interesting as anything else that happened in Bloodborne. And I love Bloodborne. Bloodborne's one of my, like, top games ever. And I think I would still kind of think of it a bit better than Elden Ring. I feel like Elden Ring is too big at times. It could honestly have done with being pared down a little bit. Get rid of... I know I missed some of the smaller dungeons, but get rid of some of the ones that maybe were less interesting. I'd say one thing that might have helped is if some of the armor sets that we got, like, in the later half of the game were just in dungeons, because we really didn't get much as far as armor goes until we got to Altlis. Like, it's kind of crazy that most of the armor is locked behind doing Volcano Manor quests. Um, I've seen some discussion, and I'm gonna say I don't really have a... I don't have enough knowledge to really go into it, but I've seen some people talk about how the bosses are a bit unfair. I think Melania specifically was what the contention was about. Apparently she does have some unfair mechanics. I only say apparently in that I, I'm not going to really get into it because I don't think I spent enough time on some of the bosses that started to annoy me. Uh, like Mog and Melania. I, um, if it wasn't for the fact that I kind of was getting a little spent on the game and wanted to finish it, I probably wouldn't have summoned as quickly. Um, which, that, like, that then comes into the debate of whether or not using all these tools that are at your disposal is cheating. I don't think it is, but for me personally, I do think that I miss out on bits of the fight when I end up... What is with the, like, grouping of these names? It's not like they're all voiced by the same character. Uh, got distracted. Um, I really got distracted. God damn it. It's it's fair to use these mechanics, but uh, I feel like some of those bosses, when I did use the mechanics, I, I personally would prefer not to use them because they, for me, they felt like they were making it too easy. Considering how much better it was for me to fight Melania when I had Mimic Tear. Although, we, I did get kind of lucky that she didn't do her uh, Waterfowl dance in second phase, I think, during my win. But either way, Mimic Tear really helped with that. Um, I don't know how much Bird really helped with Mog, but that was the way I won, so I don't know. I like Dean. Dean was my favorite. He might not have been the strongest of the spirit summons, but I enjoyed him. But, like, Bleed is the most powerful thing ever in this game. Um, surprisingly, Mog is supposed to be weak to Bleed, considering he's, like, Blood Demon Lord. Uh, Melania, too, is supposed to be weak to it. And the fact that it's a, like, hard percentage of damage to them. Bleed seems like the easiest thing to do. But I can't really blame anyone for trying to use Bleed. And I wouldn't really... Like, I, I, I technically used Bleed for a bit until I started getting Faith Weapons. Which, by the way, I kind of wish they would have mixed up some of the Faith stuff early on. It makes sense that it would be closer to the Halog Tree because I, Faith mainly relates to that. But I, uh, I sure would have liked to have gotten some of that Faith Build stuff working early on. Granted, I didn't take... I mean, I, I didn't play great. I'll put that out there, and I didn't use Faith to its full advantage. I mean, heck, we saw in the Melania fight that my Mimic tier used those Faith spells I had equipped a lot better than I would have ever. But, um, 
I feel like maybe in the learning process of playing the game in the early hours, if I had a couple more faith spells, I might have maybe tried using it a bit more, but probably not. Like, I, I, that's definitely on me. Uh, taking more advantage of things like jumping, although I, even that could be considered cheesing when I mainly started doing just jump attacks, but that seemed like that was the best thing I could do because I had more time to dodge out of the way afterwards, and it does big posture damage compared to other stuff. But I, um, yeah, I, I kind of would like to go back to some of the bosses and figure stuff out. Most of the bosses that I kind of got annoyed with were more so like gimmicks or like the long way to get to their phase. Like, I would say I did a decent job with first phase Melania until second phase, but she, like, insta-killed me most of the time if I screwed up once, so it was hard to learn it. But I, I love the game a lot. I mean, I played so much of it. We'll look at the time on it. But I played so much of it, of course I had to have liked it. I, I didn't... I, I got, like, a little worn out by it, but overall it was a great experience. I am kind of souls out for a while though, because it was a very long game. I also kind of wish there was a bit more with turn, like horseback riding could maybe be a bit more interesting. You don't really have a lot of options while riding the horse, you couldn't really upgrade its health. I think I mentioned, I think a stat does upgrade that, but... Begin Journey 2, if you do not start over now, you can choose to begin Journey 2 later at the Table of Lost Grace. We just won't right now. Oh, we're here. Can we go back? Maybe I didn't have to safe scum. I doubt. I doubt it would work. Uh, I guess I'm not too surprising, too, that the endings are somewhat lackluster, because it's never really about that. Oh, the, uh, yeah, I can't, because the... The grace that was over here is just gone. Can I walk in? Is the boss going to be there again? The, the gate's here. No. Presumably this would be so I could help other players fight the boss. Which, you know. I, I'm not, like... Part of me kind of wants to go and help some players with bosses. Not because I'm a friendly guy that likes helping people, but just because I do like playing the game. It's fun to play. I, I think one of the big things that I didn't... Not that I didn't like, but that, um... With a lot of the aggressive bosses, I do somewhat wish that you had that kind of uh, quick step to deal with them. Which again, it's like you could use these tools, I guess, but how much of changing your build do you want? Also, there was Bloodhound step as well, but I don't, I try equipped it to something at some point. And that also apparently makes Melania a lot easier to deal with. So, like, I don't know. It's cool to have all these tools at your disposal, but when it's, like... Part of me kind of wishes it was pared down a bit more. I know Bloodborne had some issues with it, uh... Being... Bloodborne had issues with maybe having too little weapons, but at least they all felt... Special, and... I don't know. They didn't feel like they were a detriment. I feel like a lot of heavy weapon stuff isn't the most beneficial or interesting. I mean, it's, whatever, not interesting. That's a little weird to, a weird way to go about saying that. I wonder how much damage I do with like normal slashes. Look at this guy still sleeping. Poor guy. Oh, I'm gonna die. The real Elden Lord is here. Got him. But yeah, I really like the game. Uh, it's weird to say with a game that took me a hundred and almost 27 hours to beat. But I would very much look forward to some DLC. I'm probably gonna revert the save again to like right before choosing an ending just to make sure that I have the save file ready if DLC ever happens. And if the ELC doesn't happen, that's also not terrible. 
I don't blame them. The game is very full. I would like... I mean, I'll be upset about things getting patched in, like, the, uh, maybe the rest of the Volcano Man request. And I wish the chair was here. I want to just kind of look at it. But it's, uh, it's a great game. It was fun. It's, it's a hell of a video game. And I, uh, enjoyed mostly all of it. Give or take a few things. Mostly all of it. But that's the end of... Abrasante's journey for now. Where's my twirl? Fancy spin is a good way to end it. Fancy spin. Wait. Finger snap's not a good way either. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Best way to end it is... Well, sitting also would help. What is this? By my sword? I'm going to test all these out. That looks pretty cool. I look like a badass. Look at me. My thanks. My thanks. No, we'll remove and wave will be obviously the best option. Hey. Goodbye.